everybody. Today um, we are going to do a get ready with me. Um, we're going to use the new Tude palette. Is this not absolutely precious? Um, it has the girls in there and it looks like they're not wearing anything. I love it. I think it's so cute. Um, so let's get started. Okay, as always, I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm just going to put this all over my lid to keep my shadows in place. I find I don't really need a other primer because this seems to work just fine. No creasing. I obviously am about to need a new one. Um, my top even cracked and it hasn't dried out or anything. I'm really impressed with that. So just blending this in with our finger. Alright, I went a little crazy with that milk. Okay, um, so we're going to go in with this color called Seductive here. It's like a, a light brown bronzy kind of shade and we're going to take that with a flat shader brush this is the E60 from Sigma and I'm just going to kind of um, pat that on my lid we're just going to keep it on the lid and I'm going to keep it away from the inner corner a little bit just because we're going to brighten that area up with another color I love this color it's so pretty it's like a bronzy gold color I don't know, it's hard to describe, but I really, really like it a lot. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna go in with this sultry color. It's a light brown color, and we're just gonna throw that in our crease with a fluffy blending brush. This is the E40 Tapered Blending. We're just gonna blend out those edges. I'm sure you could see that uh, they were kind of choppy, and so that's what we're gonna take care of with this. We're just going to keep it in our crease. We're going to try not to let that color get on our lid. And we're not going to go up too terribly high with it. It should be just about enough. Okay. Um, I'm also going to go in with this Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. Um, it doesn't have a number or anything. Um, that's just going to be another blending color as well. I'm going to take it a little bit higher because it's lighter. I'm going to take it a little bit higher than that uh, sultry color that we used. Not quite to the brow bone highlight here, but um, just between where, we'll, uh, where we put the sultry and where we will put a highlight. I really like these eyeshadows a lot. I don't know why I've been like on this orangey kick lately, but I'm all about the orange right now. Okay, perfect. Um, let's go in with a regular eyeshadow brush. Um, these are very similar. This is a Sigma one called the Eye Shading E55, and this is a Dollar Elf brush. To me, they look very similar. Obviously, this one's a little bit more bushy, but they work just the same. So if you're looking for an eyeshadow brush, the Elf ones at Target are fabulous. Um, okay, so we are going to take, I'll use this Elf one here. We're going to go in with this color called Sexy. It's kind of a um, burgundy shade. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're just going to pat our brush in that, and we're going to take it just in this outer kind of third of our eye, just like that. It's kind of a mess. That's okay. I'm just going to place it, and then we'll blend it out. Same over here. We're just placing. We're keeping it in the outer third because we're just trying to deepen up that outer V there. Just like that. Then I'm going to take a, a smaller blending brush, not, not the big fluffy one, but a little bit of a tighter one. I think that you can probably see the difference there um, because this one will keep the product in a, more of a confined area than the other one. And I'm just going to kind of do small circles. Same over here. That's that. And now I'm going to take that same tighter uh, blending brush and go in with this dark brown. It's a matte brown, no shimmer. It's called Sleek. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to kind of dot the brush in it, and I'm just going to put it in that outer corner and just wiggle it around kind of in your eye socket. You'll know that it's your eye socket because it's where uh, your brush can kind of go in a little bit. Obviously, don't press, press very hard because this is your eyeball, but... Um, that kind of helps you get in this the place where I am trying to describe. There we go. And then we'll take that fluffy blending brush, no product, 
and we'll just blend out all the edges, trying to keep those dark colors where we had them. And that's that. Now we'll take um, this uh, yellowy color called Snobby and we will put that on the inner corner. Um, I'm gonna use, this is actually a concealer brush, but you can see that it's flat, it's the F70. You can use anything. Um, that Walmart set that I have also has one of those and I like to use this for eyeshadow as well. Um, we're just gonna take that and we're going to put it in the inner corner and sort of overlap it a little bit with that other uh, bronzy color that we put on called Seductive. So bring a little shimmer in there. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna take um, a brown eyeliner. This is the 12 Hour Jordana um, Made to Last Liquid Eyeliner Pencil in Espresso Last. These are at Walgreens, they're like a dollar something and they're fantastic. All I'm gonna do is line my upper lash line and then go about halfway on the lower lash line just to make sure that my eye looks nice and open. I'm going to be applying um, false lashes so that's also why I'm doing an eyeliner to hide that uh, lash band. If you do not want to do liner feel free to skip this step. Um, if I wasn't wearing lashes I probably wouldn't put eyeliner all the way across the top but um, I'm eyelashes. I don't remember if I said eyeliner or not. That was weird. Um, but because I will be, I want that lash band to be hidden. Okay. doesn't have to be perfect because then we're going to go in with a pencil brush of any kind. This is the Sigma E30 and we're going to go in with that same sleek color, the matte brown. And I'm just going to kind of go over that. It's going to set it in place and it'll also smudge it out a little bit. First I'm dotting, then I'm blending. And I'm not going to do this in the lower lash line yet because I'm going to put my foundation on and I don't want to mess that up. I like to do my foundation before my lower lash line. Alright, I am going to apply mascara and my lashes and I'll be right back. Use if you see some of the glue because it's probably still drying. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the face. I am going to prime my face with this Benefit Professional. Um, I love it. I have oily skin and so this is really helpful for me because it keeps my foundation on and um, it also keeps me matte uh, and covers up my pores, so that's awesome. I've heard that there's a baby skin that just came out not too long ago, and it's by Maybelline, kind of that goes along with the um, those baby lips, and it's supposed to be really, really awesome too. Um, I have not tried that yet, but might be on my list of things to do, so. Okay, this is really cool too because it's like, it feels silicone-y and so, um, I don't know, and I like how it smells, I don't know, I'm weird about smells and I like that, how that one smells, so that's good news. Okay, and of course I'm going to use my Revlon Colorstay Whip Foundation 330 True Beige and I am going to take my, I'm going to use a different brush today, this is the crown brush, it's C453. It's an angle top. I'm gonna do what I always do and just blot it in there a little bit, get a little bit on the brush. Um, and then I'm gonna just start patting and stippling it onto my face. I said before in my foundation video that I do this so that I don't get too much product because I get a little product happy sometimes. And we will Continue doing that all over the face. Now, if I was going to go do this for nighttime, I would um, probably conceal a little bit um, under my eyes and and highlight a little bit with that. But I'm just um, 
going out with some friends today for a crawfish boil, which I'm so excited about. And so I'm not going too crazy. That's why the hair's up in a bun, so I don't have to worry about that while I'm trying to eat my crawfish. Um, so going down on the neck, just to blend. I do a very light layer. Feel free to do as much as, as you wish. Um, and I do kind of blend a little bit more uh, just to make sure that I don't have any lines or anything like that. Again, like I said, I, I would probably conceal if I was doing something more um, here under the eyes and things, but I'm going to be outside, so I think I'm going to be fine. Okay, now that that's done. Um, let's go in with our Cody Airspun uh, Loose Face Powder in Translucent. I like the Translucent version because it doesn't add any extra product to the face. I'm going to go in with this powder brush. This is the one from Walmart um, that I said I used for the eyeshadow on the other side. And I'm just going to tap this in the, in the powder and I'm just going to put it underneath my eyes just like this and I'm going to pat. Um, this is another thing that you would want to do if you were wearing the concealer up under there. Patting is not going to move it around, but if you're brushing like this, that was really spastic looking. But if you're brushing like that, you're going to move the powder on your face. Um, next, I'm going to go in with a big fluffy powder brush. I love this. This is the Sigma Large uh, Powder F30 with that same powder. I'm going to do down my neck, and then I'm just going to do um, my T-zone. So forehead, down the nose, and on the neck. And obviously, apparently, in my hair also. That was really silly. Okay. Okay, and I do that because I don't like having too much powder product on my face because I feel like it doesn't do me any favors. Next, I'm going to go in with this um, Sephora bronzer in Los Cabos with the Duo Fiber F50. I go in just like this and just lightly contour the cheekbones, the jawbone, and the hairline, and maybe a little down the nose. And next, I'm going to go in with my favorite uh, blush at the moment, Luminoso by Milani. And I'm going to use a uh, large angle contour. I like this because you don't need a highlighter. And this will look really, really, really awesome in sunlight because it'll catch and you'll just be glowing. It'll be gorgeous. kind of just patting um, and I find that whenever I do this and I don't pile on the, the powder product my blush lasts a ton longer um, I don't know I just I really like that so I'm, I'm also gonna take that brush again and just kind of make sure that I don't have like chiseled lines I don't that's not my favorite look on myself so I'm gonna just make sure that I'm blended well, that looks good to me. Okay, now we're gonna go back in up to the eyes um, I am going to take First, a uh, nude liner. This is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Nude Liner Pencil. And I'm going to do that in the uh, bottom waterline. We're going to do this because it really opens up the eye. And it makes you look awake. It's going to cancel out some of that redness that we just naturally have there. And we're going to look more awake. I love this little trick. It's super fun. Take my pencil brush. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's just like, bam, awake. So I'm going to go in with my pencil brush and take that seductive color. And we're going to just run that on the uh, over top of the eyeliner that we placed down there. We're not going to go in too far because we don't want darkness going toward the inner corner because uh, that is going to close off the eye. And especially because we put the nude liner in there, we want to make sure that we are not closing off the eye. We're trying to open it up and make it look alive. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with that sleek color um, and a little hair of this sexy color. And kind of layer that on top, just in the outer part. And I'm connecting it up to there. There we go. And then we're going to take that snobby color again. And you know what? I'm going to use that e.l.f. brush. Um, and just make sure that 
we're nicely highlighted now that all is said and done here. As always, if this is too much for you, do not feel obligated. I am just a makeup freak and I love to play. So um, we're going to go with this white color called Sassy and that's going to be our brow bone highlight. I don't always use, again with my same favorite crown brush, that's supposed to be for your face. I don't use a lot of super shimmery colors up here but um, I really like how this one highlights just up underneath that brow bone right to where we kind of put that color earlier, um, the peach smoothie. And the eyes are almost done. We just have to add our mascara to the bottom lash line because um, we hadn't done that yet. I like to do all the eyeshadows and stuff before adding the mascara down there because I don't want to mess it up. I did not put uh, another layer of mascara on my lashes after applying my falsies, so I'll probably do that now too. Just to mesh them together. I love these lashes. I wish that my lashes looked like this in real life without having to glue them on. Okay. Now on for the lips. Um, we are going to take a CoverGirl lip liner. It doesn't have to be this one. It can be anything that you like. Um, this is the Outlast Smooth Wear 001 in blush. Then I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Born With It. Looks like a uh, cream cup a little bit. The formula is a little different. And it's a little bit more like shimmery. I don't know, but I like it. And lastly, we're going to top with this Revlon um, Afterglow. They do not sell their lip glosses in this like packaging anymore. They're round, but I'm fairly certain they still have this color. And we're just going to put it in the center to bring the light to make our lips look full. And there we have it. So, um, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you try it. Have a fabulous, fabulous day and I will um, talk to you soon.